All right. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai. Um, first and foremost, I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS, and I also want to say uh, salutations to all you brothers in GMS that sincerely pushing the works. All right, and I'm Zahab, and today I'm going to go into a quick topic of the translation of the king of the kingdom, <clears throat> and I'm going into it just you know. Uh, a faith booster and um, an edification and uh, basically to expound on what's going to happen when we get the kingdom man all right because I'm at work and Jake basically you know he works overtime just to look good you know Jake work overtime may sell drugs cut grass fix on cars save up vacation money you know what I mean to put rims on his car just to have this little kingdom and captivity lifestyle. And uh, the bottom line is whether you're Net Nathaniel 7 or uh, um, whoever it may be, you're not going to have the kingdom and captivity wherever you are on the fucking planet Earth. This is not living, all right? Uh, uh, them new LeBron shoes, that's not the kingdom, man. This bad chick with fake hair and blue, no, that's not the kingdom. All right, we want the big thing. All right, so this is Job 20, and uh, I'm gonna start at 15 because I'm going to go into the translation of the kingdom. Job 20 and 15, he has swallowed down riches; he have he shall vomit them up again. So, what riches have he swallowed down? It's starting with the international bankers. All right, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Rothschilds themselves are worth. Evelyn Rothschild is worth over $550 trillion, man. You think he got that with hard work? <laughs> hard work and dedication? <laughs> no, that's a, that's, a, that's a family history of robbery. All right, taking over countries and sucking up their resources, man. All right? That's what America was about. That's what the railroad system was about um, during the 1500s. All right? 1600s when they built the railroad period. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what the date, but the point is that's what that was for. It was for extracting resources from these different lands. That's why the Most High called the so-called white man, which in the scriptures he's Esau, all right? A covetous man. What is he coveting? He's coveting the, coveting the resources. But guess what? Is you about to vomit those resources. You about to the vomit the earth's riches. And guess who you're going to give it to? I'm just going to keep reading. All right, Job 20 and 15 again. He has swallowed down riches. He shall vomit them up again. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah shall cast them out of his belly. That's why the scripture says the saints shall take the kingdom. I'm going to skip down to um, verse 18. That which he labored for shall he restore. Now he labored in stealing. All right, the, the, uh, the past centuries of uh, stealing these uh, countries' resources, all right? And mainly our resources, all right? He calls himself the Jews. The Jews own the diamond district, all right? He, that, that which he labored for shall he restore. Restore it to who? To the Israelites. And shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. Now let's get another scripture that backs this up, which we read a lot when we teach. All right, this is... Isaiah chapter 60, verse 5. Then thou shalt, this is when we uh, get into the kingdom, all right? Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged. Yeah, because we're going to see the, the different nations bowing down to us. It's like that scene from the Lion King where Mufasa was looking at all the animals bow down to him, all right? Paying homage. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. What is that sea? It's the wealth of the nations, all right? But it's going to be converted unto us. That's the manifestation of the translation of a kingdom from one nation to the next, all right? Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The forces is the wealth, all right? The wealth of the Gentiles, all right? And that's the manifestation of Esau regurgitating 
well, Esau and the other nations, regurgitating what really belongs to us. All right, you're not gonna have a good job, okay? Twenty dollars an hour, that's not gonna what a job? No, you're gonna be on top of the planet, man. All right, you're not gonna have a record deal. All right, you're not gonna have a basketball contract. You're gonna run. You're gonna own people. All right, people, places, and things. All right, here is um <clears throat> Ecclesiastes. Um, 10 and 8 it says because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches gotten by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another so what we read in Isaiah 60 was basically the the, the manifestation of a kingdom being translated and what happens is that the kingdom that lost its power Gives up everything. And in reality, Esau and the other nations, y'all about to give up everything, man. All that gold y'all got over there in Dubai, guess who's going to own that gold? Esau, all that gold you got in all those vaults, guess who's going to own that gold, man? Alright? That's why the scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. You, you got to think the earth and all the substance therein, though. You see? Alright? Um... I'm going to get um, Psalms, <clears throat> Psalm 75. It says, because <clears throat> a lot of people use this in the churches to try to prosper in America. But it's not about, like the Apostle Gabar said, it's not about progression and advancing in, in, in captivity, man. That was manifest with Black Wall Street. And they got burnt to the ground, man. All right, and those those were very prestigious jakes, man. I, I looked that stuff up, man. Then you had a hip hop group called Black Wall Street over there, I think, on the West Coast. That was affiliated with the rapper The Game. What happened with that? All right, thou shalt not prosper in all thy ways. All right, Psalm seventy-five and uh, six. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Alright? So he put it he's gonna put down first he put down us and set up Esau, but now he's gonna put down Esau and set us up. Alright? And that's what you was reading about in Isaiah sixty, where it said our heart was gonna fear and be enlarged, because we're gonna see all these millions of people like the Mecca, alright? Giving up their wealth, standing in line, and they're gonna be coming through gates, man. To give uh, the Israelites uh, presses and gifts, man. They're gonna they're regurgitating the kingdom to us, man. All the substance of the earth to us. All right. Um, I got one more. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, it's like Jeremiah chapter eighteen, verse seven. At what instant shall I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom? To pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it. Yeah, that's destroying Esau's kingdom, man. The most high is slowly plucking this kingdom up as we speak, man. That's why your dollar's weak. You got these different breakouts with the pestilences, which that's in, uh, that's in Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right. You got all the nations... Uh, Coming together to basically come against uh, America, man. That's happening now as we speak. All right, Russia, China. All right, that's that's prophecy. All right, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom kingdom against kingdom. That's the most high preparing to pluck up America, man. Ultimately, Esau's rulership. But here we go, Isaiah eighteen and uh, eight. If that, let me see. I'm gonna skip to verse nine. And in what instance shall I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant? All right. So that nation that you have by Shem is going to build and to plant is Israel. So I don't want the elect of Israel because we're going to be the founders of the nation of Israel, so to speak. All right. Because two thirds are going to get destroyed in America. They never got rehabilitated through the, uh, the through the scriptures. All right. But that I'm going to bring it to a close. I hope you brothers were edified, and uh, with that, I'm going to say shalom.